Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. You may know our channel for our content about smartphones, but today we're going for a little change of pace, a review of the Turbo Ant X7 electric scooter. Electric scooters are our favorite form of transportation here at the office, and collectively we've ridden more than 13,000 kilometers on different scooter models. So we just couldn't pass up the opportunity when Turbo Ant offered to send us their latest X7 scooter for review. Let's get started. The Turbo Ant X7 is a Chinese brand electric scooter and sits within the mainstream slash entry level price point of $400. The overall package is pretty simple. Besides the protective foam, we basically have the scooter itself and another small box. Inside here are the handlebars, manual, and the charger. And here's a quick overview of the Turbo Ant X7 specs. The highlights include a removable battery high load capacity, and tubeless pneumatic tires, all in a compact, foldable form factor. Out of the box, the X7 is pretty much ready to go. All you have to do is twist on the handlebars, and secure the brake with the provided hex key, and you're all set. If you want, detaching them is easy as well to help with portability. The overall design is quite similar to Xiaomi's popular M365, which a lot of other manufacturers are trying to mimic these days. One major difference though is that here the battery is removable and is stored within the steering column. This means that the column is thicker, taller, and heavier than other scooters, which a taller rider may appreciate. But the result of the higher center of gravity is that you have less stability, especially in turns. However, because of the limited turn radius, you never really feel like you're out of control, ideal for novice riders. Grabbing the thick stem with one hand to pick the scooter off the ground, like to climb some stairs, is a bit more difficult than with other scooters. The whole unit weighs about 13.5 kilos, a bit on the heavy side. But the benefit of having the weight in the stem rather than the deck is that the ladder is less likely to rotate and hit you in the legs when you pick the whole thing up. One thing I'm not a fan of though is the kickstand, which feels too short and doesn't support the heavy steering column very well. The scooter wobbles easily and could fall down. The whole setup does fold down into a more compact size pretty smoothly. The steering column hooks into the rear fender, and once it's locked in, you can carry it around securely. Overall, the folding mechanism feels solid and sturdy, even more so than the Xiaomi M365. Let's go back to the battery, which is really easy to remove. The 36 volt battery pack even has its own charging port, so you can charge it outside of the scooter without hassles. We were able to fill it up from zero in about four and a half hours. It's quite convenient, but if you're leaving your scooter unattended, someone might snatch your battery. A replacement pack from Turbo Ant will cost you 300 bucks, nearly the cost of the whole scooter. The battery is 6.4 amp hours, actually a bit smaller than many competitors. Perhaps Turbo Ant sacrificed some of that for the convenient form factor. The company advertises a pretty typical range of 25 kilometers in one charge, though in our testing on street terrain we were able to get about 15 kilometers before the scooter began to cut off and decrease in power, nothing too impressive. As far as the power goes, well it's okay, but it's no hot rod that's for sure. The Turbo Ant X7's motor has an output of 350 watts, which is actually pretty respectable. However, the controller is tuned to a pretty slow acceleration curve. Great for beginners, but far from ideal for an experienced rider. Even at the highest performance setting, the start is quite slow, potentially a problem in city traffic. And when it comes to hills, with a heavier rider, the X7 won't even start going up the incline at anything less than the highest setting. However, once you get going, the max speed is comparable to the M365, even beating it in a longer race. The advertised maximum speed is 20 miles per hour, which we were almost able to get when going downhill, but otherwise we were generally getting up to 17 miles per hour or 27 kilometers per hour while riding. The ride is quite smooth, the best we've seen without any suspension, thanks in part to the 8.5 inch pneumatic tires. They are tubeless, so you don't have to worry about an inner tube wearing out, but a puncture could compromise the tire, and repairing or replacing the tire would be a hassle. The brakes are mechanical and responsive. Even though the motor does help with stopping, there is no kinetic energy recovery system. For emergencies, there is a push brake on the rear mudguard too. You do get a front light and brake lights, and they are positioned well and are perfectly usable, though you can find much brighter aftermarket ones if you want. And there is a loud little bell integrated into the brake lever. 
It's nice to have a display that shows you your current speed, as well as a color dot indicating your performance mode. We do wish there was a numerical indicator for the battery rather than just a few bars. The scooter doesn't come with an app or options for advanced connectivity. You use button controls to change settings, which feel mushy. But once you get the hang of it, you get a few basic options for speed and cruise control, as well as a minimum startup speed. So that's the TurboAnd X7 electric scooter. It's pretty sturdy, and its removable battery design is quite unique. You could definitely imagine something like that being used in a rental fleet, for example. The ride is comfortable, thanks to those durable, tubeless pneumatic tires. And the scooter's slow acceleration curve makes it ideal for younger or inexperienced users. As far as flaws go, there's nothing major. Just that a more experienced rider would like to have the option for faster acceleration, and that the battery capacity and range are a bit smaller than the competition. But overall, if you don't mind those things, the TurboAnn X7 is a great little scooter, which is definitely worth considering. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you on the next one.